Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved one shot uh, or no shot campaign actually. Not one shot, no shot campaign. Legendary Iron Man where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty without shooting a single gun or using any form of explosives. And since the Doom Clock is currently ticking, I'm not going to um, waste any time in letting it run down. We got 22 days on the Doom Club and it is, have, um, it is time for Operation Half-Dead Crone. This here is going to be a hard one. It's the only facility that we can um, access at this point. So we need to find a way of expanding and getting access to other facilities afterwards. And it is being guarded by the... Um, snaking so that'll be problematic to deal with it we're down to at 21 and a half days as we're arriving so we got hogbite we got roby we got quick feed that's already three really good characters we got two of our healers and the question is, are we are we well advised to maybe take Edgar Alien Poe? It's not the worst decision because he could stop the um, the Snake King by simply putting a stasis around him and thus simply ending his turn. So that would not be a bad idea. A battle scanner on top of it and he does have quite a few hit points actually plus stasis and soul fire so he even has an active ability which means we can take him as a damage dealer and if we do not take him what's the alternative we could go in with halo one more ranger I really like the idea of stasis, but I'm wondering if that is needed because if we're going in with maximum melee madness, Hogbite's uh, Bladestorm should be able to deal with that snake quite well. So if we're theoretically taking Halop with us, who is finally back from being like incapacitated for ages, we would be doing well. Let's additionally put a skull jack here on Sane. Let's also see if we can build something else that would make sense. That 100 supplies. I mean, none of those weapon upgrades are worth uh, taking. Certainly the iconic uh, rip jack is not a bad idea. And the iconic axe is a fantastic idea. So yeah, that's going to be our build because that's a free weapon. And guess who's going to take that free weapon? Damn right, it's Roby. Maybe a little unwieldy, but in the right hands, this thing should cut down anything standing in your way. That is fantastic, really good. So that's a worthwhile upgrade. Make utility items available. Yeah, we got Mimic Beacon and Battle Scanner. So overall, that seems like a good team. Question: The obvious question, of course, is how do how do we deal with the Snake King? As his action economy will definitely match ours, so that's going to be a problematic fight. Good. We are just starting. It's a non-timed mission, so all we need to do is destroy everything and get out of here alive. Pretty damn simple. Alop is going to scout for us. Ooh, wow, we already got two packs. So let's get both of our both of our healers in a solid position. They also theoretically get the ability to um, to use combat protocol. So we should be fine with regards to uh, these mechs. 
Also, we got conceal times two. So even after killing a pack, Solid we should be able to scout out and wait for got it. the Viper King. What we want to prevent is running into the enemies and then ending up to simply run into the Viper King and not being prepared. That would be the absolute worst scenario, uh, worst um, case scenario. Okay, first things first. I would like to understand what we're dealing with back here. All right, that prevents us from pulling. I was I was afraid that maybe the uh, the Viper King is over here. That's not the case, which is good. So we can freely engage these guys here. And I would like to engage them in a way where Hogbite is effectively killing both of them. Charging in. Being spotted out. And we see nothing kind of in the back. Maybe I was wrong. We pulled the other uh, pack. Okay. Fair enough. So let's start with giving Hogbite an A protocol. And we're continuing with Comet protocol. Trying to get these guys down. Can't even reach the enemy from here. Wow. That's pretty far away. Good, we're going to use a protocol on Halo because he's the closest. And shortly afterwards, we're trying to kill the mech. Yep, there we go. It's down. Now, unfortunately, we're still having three enemies to deal with. And I'm, of course, wondering if a Mimic Beacon would be the right play. I want to keep the teamwork ability for later. So let's instead get grab the Mimic Beacon. And we're parrying. Okay, Roby moves up, but hunkers down very much. Quick Feet moves up and hunkers down as well. We're just not clustering up and we're not making ourselves like interesting targets. The Mimic Beacon just gets us through this. It's kind of the easy mode. Um, mainly because I didn't want any additional problems. All right. Starting with a solid hit. Ooh, wow, that was good. That on the other hand was absolutely not so good. 
Uh, but we can deal uh, with it given that we do have given that we do have a uh, comet protocol good we're charging in basically killing these guys here This will only damage the enemy. Oh wow, really? Only one point of damage. It dodged, although it was completely stunned. Well, this guy here is dead. We can parry. And we're starting to kill the tower. I want to make sure that I'm not moving into a position where I can't use this. There we go. Comet Protocol was very successful. And same deal on the other side. Let's just get rid of the tower. We know there is a second tower. And that's okay. Hope I can deal with it. We need more focus on Hogbite. One is certainly not enough. And in order to do that, let's just finish the Viper. Unfortunately, it's not giving him an additional uh, focus. There was the chance that more focus would be dropping. Oh, it hasn't happened. You know, I would almost like to put both of our specialists way behind the, the enemy lines. That way they can still use their revival protocol, um, the healing and so on, without triggering actions from the, um, from the Viper King. Oh, there it is. Careful. I just saw it. I just saw it. And we're going to spot it out. By moving a tiny bit closer. I believe this would be Subject Gamma. Fallen created a Viper King. Just what we needed. Okay, so as I was saying, moving back so that the king is, that we're out of range and can use most of this here. King will not react to any of the Mimic Beacon uh, stuff, that's just irrelevant. Let's end the turn here and see if it comes any closer. All right, now we do have officially do have a problem. Okay, Ooh, that's going to suck. So everything that is happening outside of Vision Reach is not triggering anything. So this aid protocol here, for instance, doesn't do jack shit because he cannot see them, which is why I position them so far behind. We got healing, we got uh, revival protocol here, so that's all good. We're taking Hawkbite first, as he will de facto have two attacks for the price of one. This one here nicely disorienting him and then any reaction from his side triggers Bladestorm. There you go. We're finally done with extra focus. He has the maximum defense that we could take at this point. Alright. 
All right, healing hog bite. Apparently heal removes it. Good, very good. Now, next up, let's shift over teamwork. We're not going to, we're not seen because we're in the dark, which means that is again not triggering and Hawkbite continues to rend. He's stunned, he's losing his counter play. Carrying. Still stunned for one more round. Going to use any free action that we can. Throw X will not trigger. Because it is a free action. Okay, good, good, good. Now, still being in melee, or just charging forward. Nice, nice, very good. Uh, he's down to two thirds. And he's trying to get away. That should theoretically trigger. Um, that should theoretically trigger. Blade Storm again. Charging up. And he's not stunned. didn't did not trigger but yeah overall i think the strategy worked well and it's really understanding how the enemies function so if he cannot see any of our actions he will not react they only get a reaction um, if the, you are inside what you should never do if you're fighting them inside is you should not move unnecessarily you should not try to reload you should not try to like hand over abilities. All of that costs an ability and he will just retaliate with all of that. However, by being uh, stealthed, he just didn't know that we're here. So shifting over abilities actually did not trigger. And on the other hand, if you do have someone like Hawkbite with a um, nice little blade storm, everything that they are doing um, produces a counter action. And that's what we wanted to see, right? So, yeah, a little bit of a lesson of how they are functioning. We're now moving towards the enemy. And that's all good. Quick feed will probably spot out the tower. Yep, I figured that that would be the case. We see that there is another pack right up here. We have seen that when the fog of war was gone. So instead of dealing with them, let's move out of line of sight of the tower and get ourselves in position so that next turn we can actually uh, properly fight against uh, them. Good. Can't see the tower from here. That is how it's supposed to be. And I would like to get closer so that I can drop the Mimic Beacon if Location needed. Holding his position. All right, moving up, it's going to trigger. I saw something down there.
All right, let's start with the trooper here. Good, he's he's dead. He just doesn't know it yet. That's a nice kill. Good job. Nailed it. Yeah, we're probably not strong enough to get completely through it. We could use our other Mimic Beacon. Yeah, let's try our best to kill this tower regardless. Shutdown for two rounds is perfect. That means the tower cannot even retaliate. And just look at the short positioning. I specifically did not position next to um, the ledge because I could have pulled another pack. So sometimes it's the small uh, chain, uh, decisions that you make that really determine that really determine whether or not uh, you are successfully coming through this mission. We need his corpse because we want to get the uh, the vest that he's offering. There we go. Nice little hit. Shield removed. Spreading out some of the love. And we're getting ready to maybe go down there. Not yet though. Wow, he just kicks the corpse away. That's what Ho Hogbite thinks of them. Certainly doesn't think highly of them. I still one more enemy pack, probably down there somehow. Okay, moving in. That's my trigger. Menace one five, you're near the target position. Okay, you know what? I mean, we're not here to kill all of the enemies. That's uh, that's a nice bonus. And we're actually here to like do the mission. And turn. Plant the C4. Yes, please. That's what we're going to do, Bradford. Moving. 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 And there we go. Gone. Gone. And that is pretty much it. We got ourselves uh, the Doom Timer reduced, which is why we came here for. And we also dealt a little bit more than one third of damage uh, towards the um, Viper King. Keep in mind, he can uh, now join us on some of the missions, which yeah, is unfortunate. But yeah, we, can, we, we still would be able to go somewhat through it. And yeah, even more important... We have bought ourselves some more time with the reduction uh, with the reduction of the avatar progress uh, that is now happening from our covert ops mission we should be good for this month
good. We're landing. Yeah, no one got a promotion, but that was still fine. I must congratulate Hogbite for killing 120 enemies in 16 missions. That is fantastic. He's almost averaging 10 kills per mission. Your troops performed admirably, Commander. Yeah, the Avatar project has been delayed, which means no new facilities and no more progress for the next four weeks or three weeks. And we got an engineer that's even better. We're we're getting quite a few of uh, engineers lately. I will not say no to an engineer resource. Even though building a radio relay in Europe is a good idea, the engineer is a great idea. Okay, cool. So what do we have? Hidden Dark event would be nasty. We got a very difficult Sabotage the Transmitter mission. Hmm, very difficult. It's probably almost um, assuming that either the Chosen or the Alien Ruler would be in there. I think the Alien Ruler, just like the Chosen, has a cooldown timer. Uh, so if I'm not mistaken, it should have one or two missions of cooldown, so it cannot immediately come after the first mission. And yeah, we're well. We probably gotta, we probably gotta counter this one here. Can't fully let it go through, right? The first time that we have it, so theoretically we get a second chance. But we're heavily relying on the black market, so probably Operation Tomb Giant is what we need to do next. Yeah. Okay, so timing-wise, nothing has really changed. Uh, we were just uh, interrupting uh, the Avatar project, and now, yeah, it's time for the Covert Ops mission. If you like what you've seen, uh, guys, then please leave a comment and a like down below. Consider subscribing. I, I would always love to have more viewers on board, and see you on the next mission. Bye-bye.